Welcome back to This Is Rifle Country, and today in my hands I have a Savage Arms Model 11 chambered in 260 Remington. Yes, the 260 Remington is basically the forgotten 6.5 cartridge. It's kind of right there between the 22s and the 30 calibers. We have a 260, which is 6.5 millimeter. And everybody's all gaga about 6.5 now, but they've kind of forgotten about this guy. Now this rifle, specifically, obviously it's a bolt action rifle. It has a three position safety, and why is that important? Now when the safety lever is all the way back, it locks the bolt so it can't open. This is kind of important if you're out walking around in the woods with your rifle slung up, you're going in and out of trees and bushes and climbing over stuff. You don't want to get to where you're going and find your bolt hanging open like this because it snagged on a tree limb, fell open, now you got a cartridge somewhere, no. So you pull it all the way back and not only does it prevent the trigger from firing, but it locks the bolt. Now you can put it in the middle position, the trigger is still locked, but you can open the action, clear it, load it, what have you or you push it all the way forward, it releases the trigger, and this is obviously the Savage Arms Accu Trigger right here. What feeds this? Attachable four round box magazine. It comes with a black polymer stock. Now the barrel is free floated in the stock, and it does have sling studs forward and aft, and it has the grip. It's not a fancy stock, it's an inexpensive stock because these are price point guns. These guns are right around the $500 range. This rifle came equipped with a 3x9 variable power Nikon scope, and what it has is a BDC, that's Bullet Drop Compensator Reticle. And you guys are like, oh, that's great, that's the best ever. Mm, not so much. A BDC reticle is more of an educated guess than an exact science because was this scope designed specifically for the 260 Remington cartridge? And you say, mm, probably not. Was it designed for the 308? Maybe. 556? Maybe. Uh, 65 Creedmoor? I don't know. Was this scope, was the BDC designed for sea level, 100 feet above sea level, or 7,200 feet above sea level like we are now? All you smart guys out there in the audience understand that the bullet impact at two, three, four, five hundred yards at sea level and 7,200 feet, 7,000 feet is different. So a BDC reticle is okay, but it's not an exact science. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to get out to the range and actually practice with your gun so you know where that bullet is impacting two, three, four, five hundred yards. But this gun right here, it is a good, solid, entry-level gun. If you're somebody who's looking to go out to shoot whitetail deer, mule deer, antelope, any mid-sized game in the United States of America, this is a good cartridge. Oh, and of course, what ammunition are we using today? Thank you for asking. We're using the Black Hills Gold. This is 140 grain ELDM. That stands for Extreme Long Distance Match 260 Remington. 